Hey guys, it's Colonel Kov here and we are back on The Division and today, if you're unaware, is the day of The Last Stand Expansion 3 for The Division and with this comes update 1.6 and this has a lot of stuff in this update and in the DLC so basically, I'm just going to go briefly over all the patch notes that were released I think they were released last night actually uh, just briefly go over each one, explain to you guys exactly what's coming and then later on we'll do some streams or we'll do some videos of each new item and then go over that more in detail. So we're just going to go straight into the overview and show you the headlines basically. So we've got the last stand mode which is a new game mode which is you know the version of survival it's completely new it's a different thing to do in the game. A dark zone expansion and contamination events we've got dark zone leaderboards new gear and exotics legendary difficulty and new customization. So we're going to jump straight into it with last stand mode if you guys want, you can pause the video and have a good read over all of this, just so you get an understanding of what it is. I'm just going to basically tell you that it's 8, 8v8 PvP combat in the new areas of the Dark Zone, and I believe fortifications play a part as well, so that should be pretty interesting. So Dizzy expansion and the contamination events, these are pretty cool. They have added another three Dark Zone points in the entire map, and they're not just small areas that they've basically redone or whatever it's three entirely new areas north of the map that we already have so it's close to but not quite central park but it's only new areas that we've yet to get into that uh the last stand game mode will take place i believe in those three areas of the dark zone however i am told that you can enter the new areas via just normal gameplay so that should be pretty cool might just do a quick video going in there and exploring the whole area so let's move on to the contamination events. These are new as well, and I don't really know much about them, but it's something else to do in the game. And this is what I keep telling people, is that they don't just release DLCs, they release loads of little things as well on top of their stuff. So it, there's a lot of replayability in this game. It's just when you get to max level and stuff, there's not too much end game you can do except just replay the incursions and stuff. Uh, which, by the way, there is a new incursion in this DLC. I don't think that's mentioned here. But I believe there is a new incursion and we'll go over that later as well. So Dark Zone leaderboards, this I'm not really sure how this is going to work. It's probably going to get glitched out and stuff straight away. There's going to have to be a lot of balance involved for this to keep on track I believe. But we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it will people in the Dark Zone a lot more because I don't really go in there myself. Leaderboards don't entice me to go in but the new areas definitely do. So new gear and exotics, this is quite interesting. The basically Gear set equipment is equipment named uh, weapons are now called exotic weapons, and they have their own color now, just so they're they're kind of determined apart on their own little category, and not just you know because for me it's easy to miss them, so that's quite a good update. Uh, so gear set equipment and exotic weapons can be found by completing the most challenging activities in the game in any world tier available. The higher the world tier, the better the gear score, obviously. So that's pretty normal. Um, there's new exotic weapons as well, I'm not too sure which of them there are, and I believe there's a small patch to the Alpha Bridge gear as well. Uh, so let's go down to Legendary. This is just another version of the missions, so you've got like your normal, your hard, your challenging. I know there's Legendary, and this is going to be tough, I believe. I've seen a couple of people try them. Um, my gear, like I have a lot of stuff that I could probably make a good character, I just I haven't got around to filtering through all my gear and my weapons, so hopefully we'll get high enough. Basically... Legendary difficulty is not just harder to kill enemies with the same scenario. They've actually made it really smart, so the enemies are a lot smarter and they, the way they place their grenades, the way they rush you down, they do things a lot quicker. So you have to be, you have to be on point when you're with your strategies and stuff. So that that should be good. Uh, new customization with your agent weapon skins, backpack skins, uh, new clothing sets and emotes, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then there's a lot of game changes. The first of which that I'll mention is the fast travel option now between Dark Zone entrances. So the one thing to note about this is that if you do use this option and you have item in your inventory that you want to extract, you will lose them because when you fast travel, it basically registers that you're leaving the Dark Zone. So once again, from each entrance or in the entire Dark Zone, you can fast travel entrance to entrance. Just make sure that you've already extracted or you haven't picked up any items before you do that fast travel. Uh, but yeah, there's loads of stuff that's coming. I'm not going to go through them all, so if you want to pause the video and have a good look, you can. 
but otherwise, that's pretty much it. As you can see, as always, they're just they're releasing so much stuff with their DLC and the 1.6 update. And uh, survival was a huge success. That's definitely one of the best things I've played this year. So we can only hope that the last stand mode and all the other stuff that they've brought in will be just as good. But we will be bringing it to you guys on Twitch and YouTube very soon. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think. And we will see you in the next one.